feathers up, feathers up, feathers up, grand rising, grand rising to y'all, uh, feathers up, later we're not just talking it, we're actually living it, um, about to get into this meditation, I'm about to try to download these videos so I can have it uploaded for y'all, be able to post and stuff, um, it's post my fast, and one of the things about that is like, it's like, man, yo, uh, my throat is hurting. My throat is hurting. I'm like, oh, I really was eating like soft foods. You know, it's just all that. You know, but uh, I'm sorry, I was on something else. Uh, but I was gonna say this. It's like I had soft foods, freaking watermelon. That's the best thing to have from your fast. I know that was something else. Like, well, I'm like my stomach. It's like my throat. It's like sore. I'm like, yo, what is this for my fast? I'm like, oh, shoot. I guess my body is like healing. <sighs> Um, I realized some other type of thoughts. I'm becoming a little, I was a little bit less insensitive to something because I noticed that YouTube, you know, you know how they are. Uh, they sent this ad and they kept trying to send this police brutality ad. You probably guys have seen it, just the different versions of it before videos. And I was like, I tried to, and I kept going, sliding the video. I wouldn't even let it play all the way through to click it off all the way. And then I found, and then I guess because they did it so many times, I had seen it. And when I seen it, it's like, I was a little desensitized to it. So that's something that's happened. And this after is kind of like my post fast. So I'm just like, man, I don't even want to be around it. And I think some certain type certain type of tunes. I noticed I wasn't really listening to like certain types of tunes. Like, I think I had a sense of more calming or whatever. Relaxing. I think I need to cut out some type of uh, some type of rap. I mean, I'm very picky with my rap. But it's just like, sometimes you kind of need that. I feel like that little fire energy because there's, on, there's only certain times I need it because, you know, I'm the people of the sun. You know, we got that light, you dig. But maybe I just, I know I need to start creating my stuff. I got a guitar, guitars I have to even play with. It's just like, yeah, it's a lot to deal with, my G. It's a lot to deal with, man. Um... Um, but, uh, as I was saying, man, my throat sore, I was like, shoot, I thought maybe it's cause like the watermelons, the pieces or something, but you know, I chew it. So then it gets broken down that way, but it's like my throat is sore and I use it. So then I even had a sip of water. Um, felt a little bit. Mostly when I go, so basically like when you go up and down, I start to feel it. But it's like, shoot, you know. Mm -hmm. it, and you know what's crazy, dog? Somebody told me how, someone was telling me, I was, I was probably going to put this in another video, but somebody was telling me, oh, I should break my fast, um, this and that, because I broke my dry fast. And then they're supposed to get together with me the next day. And talk about uh let's say it says something like it says something like oh we're gonna uh you get your next fat you break your fast and we're gonna uh, go have some watermelon for you to break your fast and we're gonna go we're gonna go shopping in a grocery store and stuff like that there's someone who said that I'm just like all right so they they were really excited about it tell me that and I'm like all right cool so like all right, I see you tomorrow. And I think I said seven, like what time? It's just some around twelve one or so. I'm like whatever, cause I'm I'm not too crazy about the time stuff too either. It's just like whatever, my nigga. I feel like, cause you know time. Who is time? Time doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. Who are you to say there's twenty four hours in a day? Who are you to say there's seven days in a week? You know who are you to say the clock goes back one hour? Who are you to say the clock goes back close? The clock the clock goes forward. So, anyways, but just as far as I guess time, as far as like I guess the meet up. Quote unquote time, of course. Um, oh, when they coming to get me, so I'm like, so then what's my call it? They they call me or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, no, they text, and then they texted me, or whatever, and they still, and they were still texting me afterwards. We had already discovered what time we we're gonna meet. This is at night, and it's probably like the a.m. It's like, oh, I'm still up. Dude. I'm like, all right, bet same. So then. I get a text or something else, like, from them that says, oh, it's an hour. 
oh, it's going to be an hour or something. I'm about to start heading out your way. Or, I don't know, something. I'm about to say, start heading out your way or something. And I'm like, all right, bet. So, so with that being said, um, I'm like, I'm like, okay. And then here it is, past like an hour, because I'm getting ready. I'm thinking, oh, man, I don't know, they haven't said nothing, but I'm just like, I'm like ready. They ain't never ready. And then they like, because I've just got a shower. And it's like, oh, might have been a little bit over the time, I guess, it's supposed to be here, but you never know people, how people drive. So I'm like, Hmm. Oh, okay, this is what it was. I was looking at the video. So then I was like, uh, so then I was like, okay, uh, oh, actually, I get a phone call. I, I got a missed call, actually, because my phone was on vibrate. I don't know why. So then I call him back. I said, like, hey, hey, and even said my name and all this. It was like, uh, can't. Yeah, so um, about me being there, I, about me being there, I was gonna be there, but it was just like, it was just you know, I was gonna be there. I'm trying to repeat this as much as I can because this you'll you'll get why exactly why it sounds like this. I was gonna be there. I think I'm, I'm gonna be there, but I don't think I'll be able to go because I'm actually with somebody in a relationship. And I'm like, I thought we, I'm, not, I'm like, really? I thought we just friends. What the frick? You know what I'm saying? I'm an original anyways, you know? So then I'm like, it's just like, what? You offered. You offered something. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, it is. So then I'm like, they kept giving me mixed, mixed and back angles, different talk about different things or whatever. Oh, I have different excuses. Like, oh, I have a paintbrush. I'm painting. I have no clothes and my clothes are lost. I told the friends I was going to meet up with them in high school. And it was just all these different answers. And I had to meet with And I'm like, what the frick? All these different type of stuff. And I'm like, yo. Mm. So I'm like, so after them talking and whatnot, because then I was trying to like, I don't know, I was just trying to comprehend what they were saying because it wasn't making a lot of pure sense. So I was about like 29 minutes, 30 minutes on the phone. You know, I kind of got to, I said, are you going to come? Yes or no? Because when I said, when I, I was like, and it was when I got to that yes or no, it was just like, they were like, uh, I can't come. I can come. I'm gonna come, and I was just no. I just don't know. I just I'm like, how are you this torn between? I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't write checks. I shouldn't cash. All right, man. Get the fuck, right, man. I'm like, okay. Anyways, I gotta. Cause you, I'm like, could you find somebody? I'm like, I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm always busy. Like real spit. That's just what it is. It's just you're not gonna play with my uh my sequence, quote unquote time. You dick. As far as with that, so I'm just like, I got moves, and guess what I did? Y'all saw what I did. I still went out. I still went out, so I ended up going out uh-huh, uh, my, uh, by myself, and then uh, when I did go out, so I happened to talk to somebody that was in the store, this um, elder, she was rather knowledgeable, well, she was, she, um, she wasn't knowledgeable in her own care, her culture, I should say, but so then she talked to me, talking to her, the feather and whatnot. So it was meant to, I guess it was meant to be as far as to speak to her and whatever. And she's talking about, she wants to get some, I think we have to end up talking about a whole bunch of stuff as far as, you know, culture was black, African American. She's talking about she was a Christian and she named some Agwath. I said, what the frick is that? You know, she's like, I don't know. It's some cult, some religion my uncle has or whatever. I don't know how to describe it. I'm like, then it's not you then. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not you. So, uh, so then. Huh. Trying to get some files for y'all so I can have this content. But uh so then she like Oh, okay, wow. I wasn't expecting that. I guess I gotta go back to June. It's June <laughs> Sorry. Uh but then she like she said she had to get something for her husband. I was really informing her about diet and stuff. She did not know a lot about this stuff and it was just that culture, I was just doing a lot. I was really giving her a free consultation. Isn't it? I'll be giving, yeah, golly, I'll be giving her, I give, give her a free consultation. She was just amazed. Her mind was changed, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, she was just blown, blown away, really. So then she's like, okay. Uh, so then I think she was looking for something. I said I was going to get me some apple cider. Because we said she's going to get some watermelon or something. We'll go right across the street because she wanted to know where to get something. I said, seat it. Right across the street, you can go right there. Are you going to go? She's like, sure, you sure, you trust me? That's exactly what she said. She said, you trust me? And I'm just like, well, yeah, I mean, we've been talking this much. I mean, sure, why not? Whatever. I mean, the fact that she even said that. I know she was in a motorized cart. I, she was capable of walking. I just think she didn't want to walk that long because maybe the aches or I don't know. You know, whatever. So... So then, uh, let me see, 18, 8, 18, 14. So then she goes, uh, and then she, cause after she was looking for like some pills for her husband or something like that. Oh, the 26th. I gotta go to the 26th. Trying to get some files, y'all. <laughs> She's trying to get stuff for her husband. Da, da, da. And um, she's trying to get her some pills or whatever. And I'm just like, whatever. I ended up getting some great, I'm sorry, black seed oil. My first time buying black seed oil. I'm going to have to do like a review or something like that. Show you how it is on camera or something like that. So it's crazy, I know, right? But look, so then. So then she and she said, I said, okay, what are we gonna meet up at? She was like, because she said to uh, you know, tell me to get the apple cider vinegar because I want to do it for ACV rinse. You know, you rinse your hair, you have to do at least about two times a month, the most. I'm sorry. Um, and I ended up actually going there, over there to the other side of the store to go get the uh, freaking um, freaking apple cider vinegar. You know. And, uh, what happened? 1539. And so then, um, I ended up, okay, 1539. Uh, I ended up going to the store. I was waiting. I said, something was telling me, like, because I didn't find her some stuff, and I grabbed some things. But she said she was going to get some pizza at the end. She said she was going to get some pizza, you know, because she wanted it someplace they make pizza. You know the place they make a good pizza? She said they make a good chicken pizza. So she don't know. She don't know. You know, she eating chicken and all this stuff. So I'm like, whatever. You know, but you can't force people. That's one of the things I learned. If people want to poison themselves, they want to poison themselves. You know? So, thirteen fifty. What is that? Four twenty-eight. Uh, so then, so then I'm over here. So then I'm over here, and I'm like, oh. So then I'm just something's telling me like, man, where is she? At? Probably uh, she had on a big. <laughs> She had on a, uh, a very remarkable look. Like, she had on a big straw hat. A big straw hat. She was asking about hair. Telling me about hair. Because she saw her box braids. She liked them. And uh, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm over there looking for it. And then it comes to the realization that, like... I don't know. I was just looking for it. And I was getting ready. I'm like, you know what? Someone was telling me to get ready to go. But I'm just like, you know, let me just go buy my stuff. Because that way I just going to wait for her. So then I went to go purchase my stuff. And then to wait up like she said we did. And I, I waited. And I went past. I didn't see her. And I asked one of the... People that, you know, the greeters, whatever. Because, you know, she had a remarkable straw hat. You would have noticed that, oh, this lady got on a straw hat. A big straw hat. Almost like, what's the Luffy character? You know, something like that. But, you know, it's a hat. Big hat like the ancestors do. She had a little feather in there. But you can, you wouldn't, that wouldn't be too remarkable as far as the, uh, too noticeable, I should say. As far as the big straw hat. Seven oh nine. Okay, that's when it was started, probably. 
I wish sometimes I would just know. This chunk's kind of irritated. <sighs> Anyways, 1839, 1539. And, but, uh, but then anyways, so I ended up, so then I ended up just waiting there a bit. And then I was like, something telling me, let me move around. I started asking and walking. And I asked some people, like, I asked a couple of people, like, did you see such and They're like, no, they haven't. They haven't. I'm like, I'm like, yo, did this lady leave? I'm like, wow. So then I went to go wait, and I stopped. That's when y'all saw me filming the videos. And I was in a Walmart, the subway in Walmart. You make sure you guys look at look at those videos on the channel. Uh, and I was posting that, and when I started posting that, bro, uh, what happened? Uh, I w what happened with that is that uh, as I was waiting and I started, I'm like, she left already, man. I already know that she left because I'm like, I was just waiting there for the time I was filming. That's I'm glad I did film so I can get some more footage for you guys and kind of let you guys get some more info, more info insight as far as with the fast that I was still on. You know what I'm saying? So, but she ended up leaving. And so I was like, so this is a person who said, do you trust me? Who said to make sure you trust, do you trust me? And they end up leaving. They went up going against their word. And this is a, this is all in two. This is all in the same day. People had done this, so I really think that's a lesson to really show that a lesson for my you know a lesson for myself a lesson to y'all too. Because let me know if y'all had any experiences like this before or whatnot. Because it's like you know I feel like it, it let me know I gotta reply I gotta rely on myself. I gotta rely on myself. You know one thing don't work. I still keep going. I still gotta do it to get my business handled. You feel me? Cause a lot of people gonna say a lot of things and they don't they don't necessarily mean it, especially when they say to you and they're gonna do something. And that actually means that, you know, shows that their words don't hold any value, any solidarity about it, any truth. You know, they don't resonate that way. Um so with that being said, uh you can't be like them. You you gotta be true to yourself. And not a lot of people are gonna be like that just just clearly by society. I mean, I give you an example. Most of society is apparently to a lot of statistics is obese. And if you're obese, you're not an accountable person, really. That's one of the things I had a football coach. He was obese himself. He said obese. I remember he telling me this when I was in high school. He said obese people always, well, he said fat people. He said, well, I say, because you know, fat, everybody has fats, really. You need fats to live. But you dig what he's saying. Uh, fat, fat people always say they're going to do something, but they're not. Always saying that. Oh, I'm going to lose weight. Oh, I'm going to do that. Um, but they don't. And it's true. It's freaking true. Because I was thinking about, I was thinking about, I got a friend that was uh, in high school. He was 400 pounds. And I think he was like 15. Junk was grossly obese. I just know he didn't. Well, I just, I guess friend, I just knew of him. I never had a class with him. But it's kind of like, it's kind of like, so, you know, he ain't got nobody real around him. Most definitely. Because you, because somebody real around, like, what the frick are you doing? Why are you eating that? Dog, you need to change your diet. You're going to die like... Yeah, anybody probably who says who's real about that, they could probably get the hell away from them. So anybody he does have is just real. Because it's like, I can't... I just can't function like that, you know? It's so just a different mindset, you know? Different mindset as far as just growing. And just some people just think they could just go against their word and just be so fickle and whatnot. Just make excuses for it. Uh, I'm more happy as far as what I did and how I handled it. How I handled it most definitely. Uh, so yeah. So let me know a time. Let me know a time. Uh, quote unquote time, or uh, I should say sequence, as far as when you guys had to stand up and do something, do something for yourself. As far as when others went against their own work. Let me time. Let, let me know a time where your character show most definitely. Because a lot of people they don't really hold value in themselves. And they could just say it just for the heck of saying it and not meaning too much of it. Still shows uh, that, you know, we got to really kind of just shows we got to rely on ourselves because there's been a lot of times where a lot of quote unquote times where people said they're going to do something, but they didn't. And we always had to come up ourselves. That just goes to show you another example. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, a lot of people know shows like, oh, they're going to show, they're going to do that. I'm like. Man, people just be talking for fashion. I tell you that. I tell you that. Some people fickle and that a lot of their words don't hold any value. 
So I was just like, man, I don't know. If you can't hold nobody to their own word, especially when they say they're going to do something. Mm-hmm. This guy to get away from me. Uh, But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. You guys want to book a one-on-one consultation, you can do that by DM us on Instagram at Healing Through Inspiration. Mm-hmm. If you're not following us, I don't know why not. Or you can just uh, send us an uh, email or info at HealingThroughInspiration.com. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to start a business, you guys don't have one. If you do have one, you want to further enhance yourself or your business, uh, or even both, you could, uh, you could, uh, you have to give it our course. Most definitely, it's in the description box. We also got Origini caps, American meaning shirts, um, Origini socks, Origini four. It's real style. It's created by the best DJ in the whole UK, DJ Gambler. And also, I wanted to say this. Uh, we also have. Uh, a one of a kind artwork at healingdoorinspiration dot com slash shop. Y'all go check it out, yo. You know we've been filming. We saw the videos of how we styled on the you dick. But yeah, peace, love, and light. Y'all be great, yo.